Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're taking a look at the Pat McGrath Liquid Lust glosses, particularly the newer shades that I recently purchased. I know I don't have all the new shades, believe me, if it was up to me and my bank account, I would buy all of them. I bought three that I thought would integrate themselves well into my lip routine. I also have the two mini lip trios that I purchased from Sephora. We'll swatch those. I also have some comparison lip glosses from other brands that maybe if you can't drop the dollar, on Pat McGrath, other shades that I feel are similar to those that I purchased from the Liquid Lust line. If you want to check all those swatches out, see a demo for each shade and comparisons, then please keep on watching. Hello friends, my name is Alicia and welcome to my channel. Kinky Sweat is how I refer to my hair. Kinky, my life is so sweaty. I am a fitness professional and I also love beauty. If you love any of those things remotely, whether it's body weight training, bar, flexibility, bronzer, eyeshadow palettes, a brush addiction then you come to the right place today we're taking a look again at the pat mcgrath liquid lust three of the new shades that i recently purchased i featured these shades in my january favorites video but i also wanted to do close-up swatches wear them individually on my lips as well as show you the mini liquid lust glosses that came in the packs in these little guys the three that i most recently purchased are full real wicked whisper and bronze divinity i wanted to try the other astral shades, the ones with like that blue duochrome finish. I also wanted to try nude astral, but Sephora didn't have that, so I might have to bite the bullet and get that on the Pat McGrath website. What I really love with the Sephora exclusive, the mini trios, and here, this size, this is really great if you want to try Pat McGrath liquid lust gloss formulas, but you don't want to invest in a pack or even want a full size gloss. If gloss is something you don't put on every day, it's just an indulging experience for you once in a while, then these sizes are great and here they are side by side I mean the small is significantly smaller than the original bigger version but you know what oh, drop that you know what if it's helpful to you and your lifestyle is probably worth getting the trio comes in this bag I had sequence in that I took it out I put it in a vase cuz that's just me. These retail for $25 each and the original retail price is $48. That's not too bad. $25 for three glosses. You're saving money. You're getting three different shades. This one is the Flesh 4 Bronze Temptation and Flesh Fantasy. Are those these? Let me see. Nope, that's Divine Rose. Here is the first trio set that I have. It is named the Skin Show Warm. This is first edition limited release. It has an 18 month expiration suggested shelf life. I shouldn't say expiration anymore. Shame on me, sorry. They're made in the USA and each one comes in at 1.6 milliliters or 0 0.05 fluid ounces for each vial. So here's a close-up of the Skin Show Warm Kit. The next one is the Skin Show Cool Kit. And here are the three shades that come in one set. You have Dare to Bear, Divine Rose, and Pale Fire Nectar. Today we'll be trying each. And with that said, that's good enough. Okay, let's start with the Warm Show Trio, why not? Oh, FYI, do you love my eye? Quick update on the synthetic set from Wayne Goss. If you wanna see that video, I will link it down below. If you saw that, you might have known that I was very excited to try the 26S with a cream formula. Today, I applied my nude sticks in the shade Army all over my lid, used the 26S to blend it out. Perhaps the most easiest time I've ever had to blend out a cream eyeshadow color in my life. And because it's tapered, it was so easy to pull it out in my usual V shape that I like to do on my eyes. And then I went in with the Ashanti shade, this khaki shade from The Tribe by Juvia's to set the army shade because... Ashanti is basically the powder version of ARMY from the nude stick. I used the brush to set the cream so it doesn't move and gave a little more saturation and I thanks for listening off to the lip glosses now staying within the pat mcgrath realm i am going to use her lip fetish balm in between because with all the wiping and everything that's going to go on in this video my lips are going to get dry okay so that's what we're going to do let's start off with the skin show warm trio i will go in with flesh fantasy first and here's how it looks on the lip flesh fantasy is described to be a lush pink beige 
would say is pretty much my lip color but a little pinkier as you know i love the liquid lust gloss formula from pat mcgrath i think it feels sublime on the lips it feels plush creamy it doesn't feel sticky at all it feels comfortable and the color richness is out of this world so for a gloss this gives me a lot of color on its own i love to apply this on top of a more beige lipstick if i feel the lipstick color on its own is giving me concealer lips this is going to give it a little more rose tone and i feel even out so it doesn't look so washed out next up is bronze temptation and this is described to be as a golden bronze definitely is giving me like a rosy tinge to the lip i wouldn't think bronze right away if i saw this on my lip without reading the shade description but i love the color i think it gives me again a nice rosy lip it's not too red still and it does have bronze flex in the formula it's very hard to see but when the sun hits it you can kind of see that metallic finish in the formula so perhaps that's why it is called bronze temptation love the color though what do you think friends and last from this trio is flesh number four and this is a warm mid-tone brown Ooh, i love this a lot i went a little overboard on this side though hold on it's a very sophisticated look it's like a mature type of shade on me love this for work professional looking together i really love the tone of it it's not too red it's not too brown it almost looks maroony on me don't you think it's kind of hard to guess just tell from the vial how it would appear on my lip but I dig it it's something I wouldn't wear on the regular just because I love my beigey pinky nudes on the lip but I could visit this at any time if I wanted to switch it up for sure let's move into the skin show cool trio first up we have dare to bear this is a peach nude with gold pearl gorgeous shade pinky it doesn't look too washed out on me the gold pearl is definitely showing through in terms of the brightness and the shine i'm definitely used to more this tone of pink and not to say the other shades weren't beautiful but i think i'm just used to again this kind of shade on my lip and the fact that it looks outrageously good on its own just makes it for a great go-to standalone lip gloss i could wear on a no makeup look day hmm. and it kind of matches my earrings you like i love Next up, we have Divine Rose. Divine Rose is an ultimate plum rose with reflective pearl. Ooh, this has a little more depth, it has a little more pink, but it doesn't look outrageously exclusively pink. I love how it still works with my skin tone. Again, I am more than comfortable to wear this by itself. Probably will pick an eye that's neutral so it doesn't fight too much with the pink, or maybe I could do like a pink look with pink shadow all over the place or maybe like gold eye or a cool neutral eye i love how it looks with like my khaki eye i'm digging it beautiful shade divine rose you are divine lastly we have pale fire nectar pale fire nectar is a coral duochrome with pink Pearl. This definitely reminds me of Alien Angelic that also has that duochrome effect going on. You can definitely see more of a metallic finish in comparison to Divine Rose and Dare to Bear, was it? Yes. Gorgeous shade. Again, I could very much wear this by itself or layer it over a pinkier shade or a more beige shade. It's definitely going to give it a little bit of punch, a little bit of vibrancy, and that, again, duochrome flip that I'll think that make the lip look really interesting. That is the last of the lip trios. I absolutely love them. I cannot wait to wear them more by themselves, together, over my different lip shades, on top of my cream shades or even my satin finishes very excited let's get into the newest addition to the liquid lust family here is alien Angelic, actually the first pat mcgrath liquid lust gloss i've ever purchased and i haven't added to the collection until the trio set that i purchased and also the newer shades to her collection the reason why i didn't go crazy with the other new shades is because i felt a lot of the ones that had a similar duochrome finish just had a different base and i was like i could deal without the base like it's totally cool i feel alien Angelic is just even immaculate on a lot of lip colors that if i wanted that duochrome effect that earth angel and the bronze the other bronze that's not divinity but it has a similar duochrome pearl in the formula i feel like i can make it happen with alien angelic maybe not i don't know let me know if you have any of those shades in alien angelic and that if they're totally different but again except for the obvious different base color i feel like the actual pigments themselves are the same shift I don't know. Let's first go in with my favorite out of the three that I purchased from the new additional shades, 
for real for real is the beige that i didn't know existed for my skin tone i always wanted to have the nude lip gloss but anytime i tried it it was either too dull looking in terms it just looked like my skin color and didn't give me a nude lip it just felt like i had beige icing on my lips it didn't have that dimension it just didn't marry well with my makeup look and i was struggling to find a formula that was this shade and of course how it applies on the lips i also found a problem with with a lot of beige lip glosses that you just kind of sat and they gathered and they didn't want to play along okay for real plays along so let's apply shall we for real is a deep beige with pearlescent sheen is that not absolutely perfect i know this over my favorite nude lip colors just takes it over the edge it gives it that shine that juicy factor it doesn't disrupt the color it just enhances it and again it just gives me that nude look without it looking washed out and just I love the shade on its own as you see it is just simply gorgeous it melts with my lip it doesn't look like it's just sitting on them it's just divine shade so much next up we have wicked whisper wicked whisper is a warm rose with golden pearl this i feel is actually my lip color but better i thought that of uh, flesh fantasy appears a touch more rose on me i think and wicked whisper is definitely more pink so here is flesh fantasy and here is wicked whisper so flesh fantasy definitely has a little more brown to it and wicked whisper a little more pink but i feel when i apply this on my lip it just enhances the pinkiness of my lip more it doesn't look overwhelmingly like i'm wearing an exclusive pink looking gloss it gives me a pout for sure great on its own outstanding over lip color if the cream lip color that you happen to be wearing is a little too beige for you and you want it to pink it up i think this will warm it up quite nicely or maybe you want to enhance the pinkiness of a lip shade or a lip tint or what have you this is just perfect i'm very happy i picked up wicked whisper i was deciding between that and prima donna i think prima donna would have been a little too cool pink for me and my tan skin and if you're tan skin and you're looking for that perfect pink pout gloss that's gonna make you look pouty and not just like a pink gloss sitting on your lip Woo! all right let's reapply this bomb man hey and lastly from the new shades i picked up is bronze divinity bronze divinity is a bronzed rose with gold and pink pearl i love this it has a little bit of a brown earthiness to it that i feel i don't have with the other liquid lush shades that i own it was between this and i think oh i forgot the name of it i'm trying to find it on here on the sephora shades there's so many of them bronze venus bronze venus is infused with glittering pink pearl and the one that i thought looked a lot like aliengenic i could be wrong i have to swatch them next to each other but isn't this the most beautiful it's great by itself but if you wanted to, let's say, because I'm going to go and try on different lip colors, but I can start now. I'll apply the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lip. I know this is a liquid matte, but I just love the shade so much that if I wanted to keep it matte, I could. But if I wanted to zhuzh it up, I'm slapping on a gloss. That's it. Here is Verona on its own. Again, one of my most favorite nude brown shades to wear. Bronze Divinity on top. It enhances like the brown factor of Verona. It gives it a little more shine, just a little more dimension to the lip, but it's not losing that tone that I love so much about Verona. It just enhances it and works with it. I simply love this combination. Again, beautiful on its own, beautiful later on different lip shades. You cannot go wrong with Bronze Divinity. And perhaps my most favorite combination, I need to get another Rouge Liquid Dior Jungle Mat. It's running low. Here's Jungle Mat on its own. Again, one of my most favorite pinky nude beige shades for my skin tone. For reals coming. Just you wait. This is what I'm saying. Look how beautiful my nude lips are up here perfect combination i know there might be another combination sleeping in my collection somewhere right now though jungle matte with full reel is like my top combo pick for the ultimate nude lip the perfect tone the perfect pinch of nude and warmth it's just uh 
the best. And if I wanted to zhuzh it up, I always have my Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil on standby. This is in Anywhere Caffeine. If you think the lip needs a little more definition, you could just slap it on around. Amazing. I have the shade Donatella from the Lux Trans, and Donatella on its own can be a little washed out on me, and you'll see in a second. It's looking a little pink, it's looking a little like I need something else, you know what I mean? That's why I want to go in with Wicked Whisper. So good. I would wear this. This is so great. This is definitely more on the pinkier side. If I wanted it to appear more beige, then I will probably apply for real on top of Donatella. If we just, if just to see, just to see how this would look. My lips look Josie, the combination of Full Real and Wicked Whisper is just too much to handle. Too much. And I'm so happy with these shades because I probably could wear Donatella now. And I know having a satin finished lip is a choice too if you wanted to take that route. But I want to wear that shade more often, but I have to zhuzh it up because on its own is a little intense on me. One of these on top done i wanted to show what alien jellic looks on its own this is perhaps one of my most favorite shades out of the entire collection it's just so different and that's why i bought this first because this is the shade that spoke to me in terms of its finish its duochrome reflectivity its color story like everything about it was just like take me now but now i gotta find I gotta find my mirror, where is it? Aliangelic is a prismatic duochrome infused with pink pearl. This is what I'm saying, man. Like, this is the best shade. Look at the pearl. Look at the freaking pearl. If you want to know what this looks against Pale Fire Nectar, let's first swatch Alien Jellic. So that's how that looks like. Pale Fire Nectar, what is this described to be again? Coral duochrome with pink pearl. It's very hard to tell because the pink pearl is the same. I think it's just a matter of the base being more coral. If you want to layer it on top, go nuts. To really enhance the pinkiness of it all, like outstanding. Now, some comparisons I wanted to present to you if you just cannot drop the dollars or you just don't want to get the look at less. I mean, like, how can you not? But I'm not going to judge. Wait, but first, let's put on a fun lip. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna slap on for real. Like, you just cannot go wrong with this shade at all. Alien Gel, like, there are a couple of alternatives that I came across and I wanted to show you. One of them being from the Desi and Katie collab with Dose Colors. This is in the shade the most. I thought it likened to Aliangelic a little bit. I think Aliangelic has a little more pink pearl and the most maybe like, I just see there's like a turquoise something going on. Not quite sure, but here is the dose of colors and then here is Aliangelic. I feel like Aliangelic has more punch for sure. Like, the pearl or whatever's in the gloss has a little more reflectivity and I'm not sure if the individual particles are bigger or what have you, but it's definitely giving me a little more punch than Dose of Colors. But Dose of Colors ain't bad for $18. It's a smaller vial though, so it's like you're paying kind of half for half the amount. Another color I came across was from ColourPop from their holiday collection. This is in the shade Starburst. Starburst definitely has more blue. I feel like, there we go. There's like more of a blue pearl in the formula. And I think this is very similar to one of uh, Pat's newest shade, like the Astral shade that has like a blue duochrome thing going on over there. I don't have like the 24 karat gold shade from pat it's sold out but this reminded me of it this is hypnotease from color pop again holiday 2018 not a bad shade it's really gold has a lot of gold reflect in here and this is kind of like what i use as my 24 karat type of shade if i wanted that on my lip and lastly the beige nude gloss i've been using for a long time before i stumbled upon for real this has been my favorite for a very long time from ColourPop, and this is fantasia this is actually my second tube of gloss so here's fantasia fantasia is definitely a little more brown in color because for real 
is a touch lighter so here's for real and this is fantasia it's very hard to see because it's bright but again, For Real has that beigey tint and Fantasia is a little more brown nude. All right, friends, those are all the shades that I have from Pat McGrath's Liquid Lust Gloss Collection. I hope the comparisons, the swatches, the demo help just so you can get an idea if you don't have any of these shades, which ones will work for you. I am over the moon happy with the shades I purchased and of course, it just motivates me to buy more. Even with switching as many times as I did in this video, the Liquid Lust formula is so hydrating and moisturizing that my lips do not feel chapped or raw whatsoever and if they do i just slap this gloss on and not only am i going to get an incredibly juicy looking lip but a moisturized lip as well let me know what your favorites have been which colors you picked up from the most recent color edition release and we'll take it from there and that my friends is a wrap thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video helped and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and until then, I'll see you on here again with another video, chit-chat, tutorial, or review. Take care, and I'll see you again soon.